Hey guys, it's Cap Jack here with another diecast video. Today we're going to do campers, caravans, and RVs. Um, this is a subject very near and dear to my heart. Um, actually, I really enjoy models of campers, caravans, and RVs, but uh, I don't really enjoy camping all that much, like at all. Like, I try to avoid it at all costs. Um, with that strange note, let's move on to the models here. Um, we'll start off with this one. It's sort of a custom I did actually today. Um, I got this at a flea market. It was actually white and orange and it was pretty beat up. I actually sanded the daylights out of it to make it smooth. And I was going to repaint it, but I ended up keeping it um, more in this aluminum color because it kind of looked like an airstream. So kept it that way and I really like it a lot it's a real it doesn't really have a brand it says midget toy Rockford Illinois and that's about all it is so um, moving on this is my Yatming I got this at a toy show um, caravan this actually looks like a British caravan opposed to America where we have campers um, separated by a common language. The only thing I don't like about this one is it has a really large trailer hitch on it. So, um, I just bought this singly, so I don't know if it came with a certain car to pull it. Next here, this is an old Matchbox one. I had these growing up. Um, really like it. It has the opening door. I have a couple of these. This is my best looking one, so I brought it out for the camera. Uh, my other favorite one is the pop-up. If you pop it up, it looks like that. And there's actually a guy in there, and a sleeping, and a dog on the floor. And it just closes up by pressing it down. One of my favorite models. They reissued this in some new uh, play sets. I haven't got it because the wheels are real like off-road wheels, and it looks really bad so um, I'm just gonna keep the ones I have <laughs> um, speaking of that, I've only seen it in the red even the reissue but I've actually found one in kind of a blue green same guy inside same trailer but in a green body with a uh, blue top moving on this is a newer matchbox uh, trailer this came in a uh, play set as well um, I've seen this a couple times not one of my favorite looking campers. It's not very realistic, but I picked it up just because it is actually so big. You can tell it's Matchbox by those hubbed wheels. Um, sticking with the Matchbox theme, I do have a couple um, oldies. Um, I have this one I showed in one of my previous videos. Um, kind of rare. I've seen them um, on eBay go for up to almost twenty dollars depending on the condition. Um, as you can see the roof and the center come out and a lot of times that is missing but I love this one because it has a very 50's 60's look to it with this veranda on the back um, I actually have another one <laughs> that you can see the inside detailing even for back then um, years later I think in the 70's they actually came out with a different um, casting but the same idea and you can see the interior what cracks me up is that they have um, the doorway doesn't actually line up with the doorway on this but anyways it's a neat casting and also the center comes out as well and this one had a flower on the side and this one just has this red stripe and it's in a nice yellow color yellow and red so um, those are my trailers per se um, this is actually a matchbox as well uh, this is more of a camper. It also has the sliding door. Really like that one. Um, the only thing, I, uh, Matchbox is coming out with some more campers, but they're more like off-road fantasy campers. And um, the only one I've gotten like that is this guy, the kind of toy hauler where it opens up in the back. Um, but I kind of steer away from those. But um, the other thing is they scale them way down. Like this is in a totally different scale than a Matchbox car. This would be rather large. Um, it takes me to this guy right here. Um, this would be absolutely 
it would be about the size of a bus, but they've scaled it down. This is actually Play Mantis brand. A really nice model. Picked that up at a flea market as well. Um, the last couple ones here. This is a Winnebago. Actually had one of these as a kid and rebought this at a flea market. Really big, really big. Actually seems more in scale with the cars. This one here, uh, the Yogi Bear. We actually, uh, I live in Michigan and in Indiana. They have a Yogi Bear yellow or Jellystone campground. This is one of their souvenirs they send, uh, they sell you. I had to pick one up, but it's actually a pretty nice uh, model of a bus. It's all plastic, though. Um, I have a couple other ones here. I have a, um, this one doesn't actually have a brand. It says Martin Walter <laughs> uh, Ford Caravan. Looks like something from the 60s or 70s. Uh, missing the back. I don't even know what the back door would look like. But pretty neat little model. Next, if you lived in America in the 70s and 80s, you saw one of these, the trunk, the truck uh, camper. <laughs> this is a matchbox. Um, this is a Volkswagen camper, one of my favorites in the collection. Um, this is a Masio uh, one. I think I've seen this recently too. Maybe not, but. And then moving on to my purchase that came through eBay today, one of my favorites, Mini Trek. And I actually looked this up online, and it's based off a Toyota um, pickup truck in the front. This is uh, copyright 1980. So a Toyota pickup truck um, front and the back, they said, is called a Chinook. Um, not the helicopter, but I guess there's a camper company. Uh, I have not found a real-life version of this online, but I'm still looking. I love it because it's in the classic 80s brown, orange, and yellow earth tones. Um, just like a lot of people's houses back then. Um, so, one of my favorites. I had to pick this up. It's kind of beat up. I got it off eBay for about five bucks, but it was worth it. I've been wanting to get my hands on one, so... Um, that's just a quick overview on my camper, RV, and caravan collection. Um, if you have any different ones or had any questions, just shoot me a comment um, and let me know. Alright, talk to you later.